In Hollywood, some actors find success, while others experience failure. It is possible for an actor to fail but later rise again and shine like a star. However, it is also common for some actors to achieve quick success but later face a downfall. We have seen many actors whose careers were once great, but they have since faded away. A perfect example of this is Jessica Alba. All of a sudden, we, we smashed faces and I was like, that really hurt. And he was like, that really hurt me too. This fall off is so unique that it deserves to be discussed. Don't you think so too? There is a beautiful woman with great acting skills, like a goddess, but now she is missing from the spotlight and there is something off about her. Let's understand what exactly happened to Jessica Alba and how she went from being a rising star to a rarer presence in the industry. Let's start with her rise first. Jessica's career started at a very young age of 13. She began her acting career in 1994 with the movie Camp Nowhere. At the age of 19, she was the lead actress in the television series Dark Angel, which aired from 2000 to 2002. This series was the door of her success because Dark Angel was the series that truly put her on the map. She was cast as Max Guerva and performed so well that she received a Golden Globe nomination for her performance in this role. The show was a critical and commercial success. Alba earned several prestigious awards, including a Saturn Award. After Dark Angel, Alba's fame grew quickly, and she was suddenly everywhere. In fact, she became one of the top actresses in Hollywood. She did several unique and fan-loved roles back-to-back -back in blockbuster films, including Fantastic Four and Sin City. Alba's role in Fantastic Four as Sue Storm was a standout moment in her career, as it positioned her as a key figure in a major superhero franchise and boosted her visibility in Hollywood. And so I guess, you know, that's what you do when you're a grown adult. You have a pajama pizza party and you play games. These films showcased her acting range, talent, and skills, shaping her status as a shining star. In fact, she was not just a star, but an icon. She was everywhere, from magazine covers to constant media buzz. It felt like Jessica Alba could do no wrong and was destined to be the future of Hollywood. But then things started to go wrong. Now let's discuss the chapter of her fall off. Even with her early success, Jessica Alba's career began to fall apart in the mid-2000s. Despite the success of many of her commercial films, critics were not always kind and the same. After the failure of movies like The Love Guru, Into the Blue, and Good Luck Chuck, Alba faced a lot of backlash from critics. And one of the biggest things that happened to her career was the failure of Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. The film was expected to be a blockbuster, but things went bad. It underperformed at the box office and received mixed reviews from critics. However, for unexpected reasons, Alba's performance was singled out for criticism. Reviewers said she lacked the depth and complexity needed to lead her major franchise. After this phase, Alba found herself in a tough spot. Even though she was still popular, the quality of the movie she worked on started to go down. The actress later admitted in interviews that she often chose roles based on financial considerations rather than artistic merit. Later, Alba admitted in interviews that she often picked roles based on money rather than the quality of the film. And you know nothing. There's nothing happening inside. They're just like, you idiot. She appeared in a series of low-budget films that failed to generate much interest or critical acclaim. Her career seemed to be stuck in neutral with no clear path forward. She appeared in a number of low-budget films that did not catch much attention or praise. Her career seemed to be going nowhere with no clear direction ahead. In 2011, she appeared in five films, including The Killer Inside Me and Machete. Even though these films had the potential to do well, they did not match the success of her earlier hits. After this chapter of her life, Alba publicly began to express frustration with the film industry. In a controversial interview, she said, Good actors never use the script unless it is amazing writing. All the good actors I have worked with, they all say whatever they want to say. This statement upset screenwriters and other actors, which might have hurt her reputation in the industry. Now let's discuss the factors that ruined her career. Alba damaged her reputation as an actress by appearing in flop and low-budget films. Her film choices in the late 2000s and early 2010s are one of the biggest reasons why people did not want to work with her. One other reason she did not grow as an actress is that you can see in her career that she's getting roles and people want to see her because of her beauty, not her acting skills. People preferred her looks over her acting, which limited her range as an actress. Alba has also spoken many times on sexism, which has damaged her image in the industry. For instance, she once exposed the industry by saying that I always wanted to be treated the way that I saw men being treated. It is natural in any industry that when you speak out against how things work, you start to get backlash. Another factor could be that after the rise of streaming platforms, mid-budget films declined, which may have reduced the number of suitable roles for actresses like Alba. 
Additionally, she became a mother and focused on her family, which decreased her focus and attention on her career. So at the parent teacher conference, she's the class clown. That's what they told us. She's kind of like her mom. Yeah. After the downfall of her career, Alba was smart enough to consider for a backup. In 2011, she co-founded a company called The Honest Company. It was a consumer goods company which offered eco-friendly and non-toxic products. This move proved to be a smart decision as The Honest Company was a massive success. By 2015, the company was valued at over $1 billion, which was a huge success for anyone. Alba was named one of America's richest self-made women by Forbes. It is evident that Alba had found a new path outside of Hollywood. The success with The Honest Company was so huge that fans and rumors began to suggest she might be moving away from acting altogether. However, despite her business success, Alba did not completely abandon acting. She continued to take on occasional acting roles in films and TV shows, though less frequently and often in smaller parts. She kept her connected to the entertainment industry. Her appearances in films like Sin City, A Dame to Kill For, Killers Anonymous, and the series LA's Finest are proof of that. But despite all her hard work, these projects still failed to reignite her acting career, and most of them were complete flops. Since Alba's popularity had faded from its peak, critics and audiences were also less interested in her projects. What's she doing right now? As of 2024, Alba's main focus is on The Honest Company. Currently, The Honest Company is still doing good, and Alba has become a respected figure in the business world, unlike when she was a full-time actress. Currently, she occasionally takes on acting projects, but these are no longer her primary focus, shifted her focus away from acting and towards business. This year, she was cast as one of the main actresses in the movie Trigger Warning, but the film did not do well and was a flop. Now, Alba has also become a strong supporter of women in business. She keeps speaking out about important issues like diversity and inclusion in both Hollywood and the business world. After these setbacks and challenges in her career, it is unlikely that Jessica Alba will return to the peak of her mid-2000s fame. However, there are signs that her acting career could still have potential, and Jessica Alba might be making a comeback. Her recent role in Trigger Warning, though brief, was well received by critics who praised her presence and acting skills. It shows that she still has a potential in her. How can she revive her career? Let's discuss it. One opportunity that she can take advantage of is streaming platforms. With the rise in these streaming platforms, there are more opportunities for celebrities now. Alba's appearance in LA's finest on Spectrum Originals and Trigger Warning, distributed by Netflix, shows she is actually availing of these opportunities. She just needs to stay consistent. Jessica Alba also has experience in producing films. She is also the producer of LA's finest, where she also starred. Additionally, she now develops projects through her production company. Producing allows her the chance to promote diverse stories and create opportunities for herself. Her success with The Honest Company has further strengthened her position in the industry, giving her a unique edge in the industry. As we know that Hollywood is becoming more open to diverse stories and complex female characters, Alba might find more interesting roles coming her way and we can expect something big. Furthermore, Alba's success in the business world could potentially give her more support in Hollywood, allowing her to be more selective with the roles she chooses. Jessica Alba's career story is a fascinating example of ups and downs. Her journey from actress to businesswoman is impressive. But what is even more impressive? The way she saved her livelihood. Imagine falling from a successful acting career, getting rejected from big movies, then starting a new journey and finding massive success, so much that you're back in the spotlight, making magazine covers again. Her life teaches us a lesson that success is not always guaranteed in what you want to do, and true happiness can often be found outside the usual paths. Even though she might not be a Hollywood A-lister anymore, Jessica Alba has shown that she is a strong and versatile person. There might be better actresses out there, but she stands out as a better person compared to many. How many actresses do you know who have a billion dollar company and a happy supportive family? Now, whether she is running her billion dollar company or making the occasional return to the screen, it is clear that Jessica Alba's story is far from over. This raises the question, is Jessica Alba's fall off really a fall off? But that is something only time can tell. Thank you for joining us. What do you think after hearing all these views? Your thoughts are important. Share them in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our latest videos. Until next time.